and welcome to Bible class week. I have no idea. It's Sun yet. Sunday the twenty. I know. I was going to say that bit. All oh, right. I didn't know what week it was. Sunday the twentieth of June, twenty twenty. The time is half past ten or so. Anyway, yes, half, definitely half past ten. Yes. Uh, how have you all been? It is uh, good to be here. It was lovely on Tuesday night. I enjoyed a, a Tuesday night with the Zoom. It was good to see uh, those that could make it. Thank you very much. And I hope you enjoyed the game. And I hope you aren't still upset about there being a box inside the box. That was just so stupid. <laughs> Nobody got so it. Stupid. Nobody got it. So stupid. Anyway, I have decided this week to tell you my daily doings that's a very strange phrase my daily doings something good or positive or semi exciting or even just a millimeter exciting that happened each day yeah what do you mean this one no i'm i'm not so i shall start with monday monday what do you do on monday well i'm not going to give you sort of blow by blow no, no hour, but... but monday my highlight of a monday morning is um when i do a tutoring for an hour and, and that's really good because you get to talk to somebody else other than these lovely four, three people in this house. So that's nice. You get to talk to somebody else who's smiley on the computer screen and you get to do maths and it's just, it's just nice. Okay. Tuesday was my plus with the Zoom. Hey. Okay. I'm getting the hang of this Zoom and I'm getting into it a wee bit more. Mm -hmm. into it a bit more. Wednesday, I had no idea. Wednesday was a blur. Well, uh, Wednesday I went for a walk with the this dog. This is my doing. But, doing. but sure. I think you've got nothing for Wednesday. I'll add oh, something okay. for Wednesday. Right, okay. I went to the Ben Varden shop, the bark shop on Main Street, Ballymoney. Uh, Scooby loves going in there because A, he's allowed in. B, they welcome him like a pop star and he gets a wee treat. So it was nice to be in there. Did they not welcome you like pop star? They just went, oh, right, you're here. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. Fair enough. So my, Wednesday, my, I have no idea what I did. It was just a blur. Thursday, um, Thursday is always very exciting in in our street because the bin men come twice, and as the man comes, uh, oh, I know what Wednesday was. Sorry, I go back. Yeah. Thursday, the bin men came, the as the man comes, and then the whoever delivery man came and brought us a new TV, and that was very exciting for some people. It's just TV, it's TV. But anyway, Friday, that's today. Um, I've done some tutoring this morning, so that's that's good. That's makes me feel useful. And tomorrow we're going down to see my mum and dad in Larne, so that's very exciting because we haven't seen them. I think I counted up at sixteen weeks. Sixteen, 16 weeks. weeks. We um. Yes. Back to Wednesday. Wednesday mm -hmm. wasn't a blur. Wednesday we got the last food bank, Bushvale oh, food bank yes. deliveries. So that's all done and dusted. We've spent seven hundred and twenty-eight pound or thereabouts on. Put beans and meat and nappies and wipes and toiletries and all sorts of stuff. So that was that was Wednesday's excitement. That's, so that's my daily dreams. And the and week. you're going to put a post up with all the the pictures of it all. Yeah, that was up yesterday. That was up. That was up on no Thursday. on Thursday. Thursday. Not Thursday. Thursday. Not yesterday. Thursday. Did this you isn't. not notice that? Uh, no, because I don't notice anything. Because um, I see nothing and nothing sees me. You don't do Facebook that much. I uh, I do, but no, I don't actually. I've gone oh, off Facebook, but uh, oh, just, just, to, yeah. just connect with people, yes, but not to see what's happening in the no, world. Sometimes no. I will go Sometimes on Sometimes you don't want to know what's happening. No, I don't. Anyway. Speaking about what's happening, this, uh, over the summer... Oh, sorry, sorry, oh, yes. So, try and think of something positive every day, something good that you've done. Don't let the day go and just a blur and think, I didn't really do. That was the point in that. Mm -hmm. Have something that's, that's a very good, good point. for each day. Thank you. Today, of course, the... It's Bible class, so that's your positive for today. Anyway, uh, over the summer we're going to be doing a question, a question about something around the Bible, about Christianity, that we're going to try and answer. We may not have the uh, perfect answer, but we'll have some answer and we'll do some research. This week's question, well, uh, what have we got? Are you not going to read the question? Well, you're got, we're going to read the question in a wee minute. All oh, right. We'll this is an intro. This is to build anticipation. Oh, excitement. This is the okay. excitement. So, the Bible is a book. This is my Bible. Okay. A book. A big book. And it's as big as life itself. What, what's that mean? As big as life itself? Everything's in it. It's about the whole... Uh, from the beginning to the end. It's about uh, us. It's about everything around us. Okay. 
It's also a book of books, and that's what the word Bible actually means. And Catherine had this question, and she says, how did the Bible get put together? And it's a good question. So how did the Bible get put together? Now, this is sort of my thing, because I like a bit of history. The main thing to remember, the most important thing to remember, is that the books of the Bible were not chosen. They weren't chosen by a committee but they were discovered. And we'll talk a wee bit later on about what that means. There was no big meeting of uh, really big intellectual Christians to decide what to include or exclude. So for the early Christians, the Old Testament came out of Jewish faith. Nearly all the first Christians were Jews, and you can read the story in the book of Acts. Have you been through the book of Acts in your Bible? No, I'm, get, I'm on chapter... I don't know how many chapters there are. What do we see? Oh, I'm fully. Yeah, uh, 16, 17, yeah. I'm nearly there. Getting there? Yep. The Jews had a complete Old Testament since around 250 BC, and its contents were written over around a thousand years. So a thousand years to write them all. In contrast... The New Testament was written within under about 70 years from the first book of it to the last book of it. The parts of the New Testament were written, the first parts of the New Testament that were written, they weren't the Gospels, as you might think, because they're the first ones you meet, but they were uh, the letters. Christian leaders wrote to groups of Christians in far off towns to encourage them and to settle arguments. Paul wrote to the Christians in Corinth and Ephesus and so on as well as to people like Timothy. These were then copied by those groups of Christians to send out to other groups of Christians to encourage them. So you wouldn't have written anything too personal, because then somebody's going to copy it and pass it on, you know, it's a bit... Yeah, they're, 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 they're more to a church, to be read out yeah. to a group of people. And when we think about copying work today, we think about mistakes. Uh, I don't know if you've ever had to copy something out. When we were at school, we, I had to copy off the board. Mm. and to try and get it accurate. Before but the teacher rubbed it out. Before the teacher rubbed it out. Yeah, that was always a thing. And these early Christians were actually coming from a tra tradition of copying things accurately from the Jewish faith because you had to know things accurately. When uh, th they knew they copied accurately, not by counting how many words, but counting how many characters they copy. And if it matched that would be, they'd know they were copied, you know, even down to the wee dots that so I it's a bit is. like your tweet where you're allowed so many characters yeah. to tweet. Yeah, so they know how many. Um, so accuracy was very important in that culture. There was no no tipex. No tipex. No rubbers. No. Uh, and uh, when people... No like, delete button. Well, Sorry, there was no computers. No, I know that, but I'm trying to... <laughs> when Matthew, Mark, Luke and John were getting older... They decided to write down the accounts that they were telling people of Jesus' life. And they probably didn't do it sooner because they just went about and told people. They spoke to people. Um, so the Gospels were written between AD 50 and AD 90, between 20 and 60 years after Christ had died. When Luke wrote the gospel, his Gospel, guess what he did? He did a part two, and that is the book of Acts. So Luke and the Gospel of Luke and Acts are part one and two, detailing the life of the early church in Acts and featuring a man named Paul. And Paul wrote the majority of the letters in the New Testament. So people read the book of Acts and went, hold on a minute. I think somewhere in our church, or in our uh, meeting rooms, we've got one of those letters of Paul. So they started to become more popular. And by the start of the new they century, trended, like they, trended. they trended basically. And by the start of the new century, writers included uh, lists of most of the New Testament. There were books written by other Christians that wouldn't be included in the Bible because, uh, well, later on we'll discover why things were put, uh, put in the Bible. And so by the start of the new century, the 100s, there were lists of a fairly substantial amount of what we call the New Testament. And those were the books that would become canon. Do you know what canon is? Yes. Go for it. It's one of them big long things that you fire a ball out of and they shoot people. And... Well, that's very good, but wrong canon. C-A-N-N-O-N -N -N is when you shoot up people from pirate ships. C-A-N-O-N -N is when you have uh, established works 
that are recognised as the authority. If you think about... You can have a canon as a minister sort of thing. I have no idea where that comes from. No. I have no idea. Yes, you can. Okay. Um, but I, So if you think about fiction, you have stories that are within the Star Wars universe and then there's other stories that are outside. They're not canon. How did you get on to Star Wars? I, I don't know. Anyway, it, the canon probably wasn't finalised until around A.D. 367 when an African bishop from the north of Africa, uh, he wrote some letters to the local churches recommending which books to read out in church. His name was, uh, let's see if I can get this right, Athanasius. Athanasius. So he is the one that decided? Well, he didn't decide. It just happened that he uh, was the first one to list all the books that we have in the New Testament. So you said the books were discovered instead of decided. Let's look at what tests these books had to pass before they were considered canon. Well... I still don't get that canon, but anyway. (laughs) Well, there were four by... There were four Bible book tests. So we've got a list of four. So first one is, is the book connected to Jesus? In other words, did the authors know Jesus when he was walking about on the earth? Are these stories from first-hand accounts? Second one, does it match theologically? That's a big word, but it just means the study of God. Does it match what we are taught in other parts of the Bible about who God is? If it tells us to hate our neighbours, then that is not what the rest of the Bible says. Thirdly, is it historically accurate? Did it match what people knew about what happened at the time? Because a lot of these letters were written by people who knew, uh, were read by people who knew what happened at the time. Did other eyewitnesses' accounts agree with what was written? Next one, have Christians regarded it as scripture? Have Christians been reading these letters and Gospels for a long time? So those are the four things, uh, four ways of knowing. There were four. Yes. Yes. So is it connected to Jesus? Does it match theologically? Uh, Is it historically accurate? And have Christians uh, regarded it as scripture? Uh, and that is a very short uh, history of how the Bible was put together. There are lots of material out there that you can read yourself if you find this interesting to get deeper into it. Okay. What, what we'll do instead of me listing it here, we'll list a few things on the, uh, I was going to say show notes, but on the Facebook page. We'll okay. ask uh, a few things, be even a YouTube channel that you can look up. and. Uh, but not us. But on the no, YouTube channel. Not us on the YouTube channel. Okay, I'm getting worried. No. Uh, we'll list a few good ones on the Facebook uh, description of uh, this one here. So it's important to remember that while these books were being written by human hand, it is God who inspired each person to write. A few verses from Second Peter chapter 1, verse 19. It says, And we have the word of the prophets made more certain, And you will do well to pay attention to it as to a light shining in a dark place until the day dawns and the morning star rises in your hearts. Above all, you must understand that no prophecy of scripture came about by the prophet's own interpretation. For prophecy never had its origin in the will of man, but men spoke from God as they were carried along by the Holy Spirit. So every time any of this was written down, It was written down because God wanted it written down. When we open our Bibles, we are confident that this is what God wants us to know. Anyway, that was a great question. And let's pray before we go on. Dear God and Father, we thank you for the Bible. We thank you that we can read um, about what other people have done. We can read about what your teaching is. We can read about who you are and who you are to us. Thank you for those people throughout the years who have written the Bible, who have put the Bible together, who have translated the Bible, and who are continuing to translate it throughout the world in those languages that still haven't got uh, the Bible translated. Lord, guide us as we open our Bibles, as we try and find out who we are in connection with you, And we try and know your love in our lives. Amen. 
Right. Uh, I, I, yeah, that, that's, that, that, that's it. For the, 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 if you have any questions, do send them in. Um, we will endeavour, we will try really hard to... I knew what that word meant. <laughs> thank you. I just You're thought welcome. I'd uh, do it for you uh, to have them answered. I have to go because I'm actually taking the service. So I'm going to... Uh, in get there in well I'll I'll change his shirt on the way. Okay, bye folks. Do you think I should tell him that it's all pre recorded and he doesn't have to hurry? Don't forget to send in questions for us to try to answer. Bye. <laughs>